Hello, welcome to the 2021 Thermotech Expo January Virtual Exhibition. Today, my team and I have some big announcement to share with you. Thermotech has always been at the first front creating innovative ways to connect with our users. On January 11 to 14, our global live stream will be held on Thermotech Global Facebook channel and the YouTube channel and event site. The new product will be unveiled each day, so stay till the end to see the complete product launch. Right now, I'm excited to show you the newest PC DIY case mode and gaming solution. This year, with the pandemic, we find ourselves spending most time at home. And to be honest, we gamers, modders, and PC DIY enthusiasts are experts at doing just that. This is where our marketing idea game with your TT mode fits right in. With the rising importance of the home entertainment and working from home, and game with your TT mode. First, we have a classic fan favorite, the Tower 100, Thermotech first vertical mini ITS tower, available in brick and snow edition. The Tower 100 is a mini ITS case with the max amount of features, providing the largest space for easy installation and smooth airflow. Next, we have the brand new Divider 300TG ARGB middle tower chassis available in black and snow edition. The Divider 300TG ARGBs they came with a unique triangle style side panel. You could easily install the 5 intake fan at the front and a multiple side to create a positive air pressure to ensure the thermal performance. Next up is the Divider 500TG ARGB available in black and snow edition. The Divider 500 is a construct with a full tempered glass window. The top and front tempered glass, the panels are Designed for panoramic view with the two triangle style panels on both sides. In addition, there are two extra triangular steel and a tempered glass side panel for user to choose between the thermal performance and the look. Let's go on the new Tufran XG RGB high performance DDR4 memory in 3600, 4300, 4400, and 4600 MHz. Thermote is the first in the industry to engineer a unique x cross heat sink design. Paired with the Neon Maker light editing software, user can control the 16 addressable RGB LED and orchestra a stunning light effect. Made with the highest d -Dye chip, the Tupra and XG RGB deliver the powerful overclocking potential for faster and smoother gameplay. Now let's take a look at the awesome gaming setup, the new Argent Gaming Gear series. We have a new product to show you. First, let's check out the gaming keyboard. The Argent K5 RGB gaming keyboard is a craft with a space play and a floating keycap design. Web around is a customizable 360 degree RGB undergrow. Undergrow. There are two switch. Cherry MX Blue and Speed Silver Switch. For the top gameplay, we use the Silver Switch, which provides high precision and short reaction time. Next, we have two gaming mice, the RGM M5, wire mouse and wireless mouse. The first one, the wire mouse feature the same futuristic undergrowth. The ND fixture design makes it suitable for both right and left hands. The 15 minimum click Omron engineer switch and power for Pixar PMW3389 optical sensor elevate the overall gaming experience. The wireless mouse, on the other hand, it came with a powerful Pixar PMW3335 optical engine. There are three models of the connection. 2.4G Bluetooth 5.0 hour USB wire. Third is the stunning Argent MP1 RGB mouse pad with the iconic 60.8 minimum RGB hero undergrowth. 
The aluminum-made hard service mouse pad provides responsive tracking and pinpoint accuracy. Moving on the fourth item, the Argin MB1 RGB mouse spongy. Feature a unique teardrop shape and space-grade metallic finish. The non-slip rubber base secure the mouse in place, and the rings of the RGB underglow create a futuristic atmosphere. Fifth is the Argin H5 stereo gaming headset. It is available now. The headset focuses on the comfort and surround performance. The oversized 15mm high res deliver allows users to enjoy the ultimate audio experience. User can adjust the perfect head size with the 15 level headband. Here is the headset. It is our sixth item, the Argin HS1 RGB headset stand. Comes shot by an aluminum holder, a non slip rubber base. Again, you can see that premium metallic finish and beautiful RGB growth. And for the fourth item, let me introduce the best gaming chair on the market, Argin E700. We want to give the gamer a first class experience. So we decided the E700 like an airline first class seat. We use the high quality material like a real razor and the finely processed aluminum parts. In addition, the high-tech ergonomic design offers the player maximum comfort during the intense gameplay. In terms of aesthetic, we went for a futuristic spacecraft-like design. Here you can see the back arm piece from and the curved back design. And the polishing metallic silver finish. Speaking on the function, the integrated side handles are decided for tilting and elevating. There is also an adjustable headrest for additional support. The chair also includes a Z support multifunction tilt mechanical and a locking system. The class 4 gas spring brings the maximum safety and reliability during the high adjustment. Lastly, the premium grade 5 star aluminum alloy. The base provides enhanced stability. Finally, one more product is the Argin Gaming Desk, which will be revealed later on. So don't miss out and press turn in each day. Beside the product unveiled today, we will be launching around 30 more innovative new products during our exhibition. To learn more, join our live giveaway. Please check out our live stream broadcast on the Thermotech global YouTube channel, Facebook page, and event microsite. Thermotech continue to innovate and advance our technology bring the best product and service to our users, the gamers, motors, and PC DIY enthusiasts. Your support is our motivation for innovation. Thank you for attending. Thermotech will continue the mission to deliver the perfect user experience. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks, Kenny. We are ready for those new products. And for all you folks at home that want to know more, the team and I here at Thermaltake USA are going to break down each of those products to give you more on what's to come. Now, before we get started with the spirit of Game With Your TT Mod, we're going to be giving away a custom LCGS gaming PC with an RTX 3080 and more here from Thermaltake. Enter for your chance to win. Details will be down below and we'll be popping up a secret code throughout the stream today, so don't miss out. Now for more continued coverage here at our 2021 TT Expo. First, we're gonna start with our case lineup and introducing here our Tower 100, which is gonna be our first mini ITX tower case by Thermaltake. Now this tower 100 was shown back last summer 
and we've taken the feedback and gone forward with doing some redesigns that I want to show you guys here today. And these two products are going to be coming in with the black one being an MSRP of $89.99 and the Snow Edition coming in at only $99.99. Now these particular cases are compact. These are pocket sized PC cases almost. I have here one of our quad 120 fans to give you guys some scale on the size of just this chassis alone. The Tower 100 is a cute little PC. This allows you to be able to put some great performance inside as well as save a lot of space on your desk as well. Now the Tower 100, a lot of the new changes that we've made, we've added more ventilation options. The case itself has had more ventilation holes added to the floor of the case for more intake. We've actually changed the side panels to the more iconic Tower 900, given that nice balance of both glass and ventilation here on the side, which is a great welcome here for the final design of the case. This also incorporates being able to offer up to a 13 inch or 330 millimeter graphics card to be mounted in here. So big performance here with that. And the thing I really like is even for an RTX 3090 that runs around 300 or so millimeters in length, the card itself will go all the way down and then it will even pass through underneath this power cover that we have. So it cleans up that cable management just as well and all you see is that big beefy card. And then you have the nice ventilation here on the side, more or less dedicated for that graphics card for more airflow. And then of course the case itself, you'll have a 120-140 AIO option here on the top. You'll get a 120-140 on top of the power cover and then here on the back of the case, we also got an option for another 12140 fan as well. So that way you'll be able to at least get some fans in here in this small footprint. And then of course for storage options in the back, you'll have the ability to be able to add two HDDs or two HDDs or two SDDs, SSDs in the back of the case. And then there is also options on the left hand side for two more SSDs. So you got some good options for storage as well, even though we know M.2s are pretty popular today here in the market. Now speaking of transfer speeds, the Tower 100 also has a top I.O. panel supporting two USB 3.0 ports as well as one Gen 2 uh, Type-C connection as well and of course you got your power and HD audio connections there on the top. Now with this being a tower PC of course with this you also have all your cable connections going in through the top. We've designed the case here with a nice little push button option to be able to remove the top which of course is filtered top to bottom here on the case. We have filters on the top sides and bottom of the chassis to keep it as dust free as possible and we always encourage that you guys do plenty of maintenance on it. Now all of your cables and everything are going to be coming through the top as well as all of your case connections going down into the motherboard and we've offered two little access points back here for your HDMI, D display port, USB port, you know, cables and everything so they'll route through the back um, coming up and into the top of the case where they're going to be plugging into the motherboard because the motherboard is then turned at uh, 80, 90 degree angle so that the IO panels on the top. Now this is basically our Tower 100 top to bottom. There's of course plenty more for us to be able to talk about. We're planning on doing some builds here with this as well so we can dive in and show you guys some cooling options with this. But to give you guys a first look at the final design of the Tower 100, we're very excited to be able to show you here in the market and the options that will be available on these cute little guys in both black and snow edition cases. And we'll go ahead and move forward here to the divider series chassis next. Moving forward with our divider series uh, chassis here, new for the TT Expo, I have our divider 300 TG, which will be our first mid-tower chassis coming to market. And then I have our nice divider 500 TG, which I'll talk about here in a moment, all decked out with some custom liquid cooling. Now the divider 300 TG is a mid-tower chassis supporting ATX form factor motherboards and has a unique side panel design. Now the case itself comes with both a split personality of glass and steel side panels that are actually removed separately from each other. Basically with this glass panel, I can remove this and then it also has a section here where there's a little bit of ventilation between the two panels. And this is on one side of the case where the other side 
would give you just a standard vented area for the 240 and 280 radiator fitment that's available on the right side of the motherboard tray. Now the case also offers 120 cooling and 140 fan cooling on the top as well as fan options down through the front. Now the divider 300 TG is going to be available in a black color at $74.99 as well as a snow edition too and then we're also going to have ARGB models which will include the ARGB fans pre-installed into the case and include an ARGB controller so that way you can sync up all your ARGB products through one controller going through one software syncing with your favorite motherboard. Now with the 300TG you got some nice options here as well with a rotatable patented PCI Express bracket. This allows you to go vertical with your GPU or keep it standard going directly into the motherboard. There's a nice power supply cover here to give you great cable management for it and there's definitely a unique likeness to this fan bracket through the front which also gives you the option to do up to a 360 millimeter radiator in the front but only at a thickness of about 25 millimeters or using like a larger AIO. Now with that you have some cooling options. You can also see here we have the divider 500 TG. So let's talk about that one next. Now we have the divider 500 TG which is the same chassis I have over here all built out with some custom liquid cooling. Now these cases are going to be available both in the black and snow edition uh, colors here for the two cases and one thing that's unique about the 500 series is that it's going to come with replaceable panels for your side triangulated side panel option here with the divider 500 TG. Now what that means is that you're going to get an extra set of panels including one glass triangulated panel that will replace your side panel here. So if I can go ahead I can take this off and this would be removing the steel side panel from the right side of the case or left side if you're looking at it from the front. And then this would allow me to do an all glass type of configuration being able to just lay in the glass piece and then secure it into the chassis fully exposing all of the components on the inside. Now these are going to be included here with the 500 TG only for the moment and it's a unique feature that we're going to have with a little bit larger of a chassis in the 500 series in comparison to the 3. You'll also get some more cooling options in the top with the 500 in comparison from a 120 fan mount on the 300 and then this right here will give you the options for doing a 240 or 280 radiator here on the top. The top is also tempered glass as well so it brings in a little bit more glass on the 500 series and then for both of them they do have a top mounted I.O. So with the top mount here you have two USB 3.0 ports as well as a type C port and then of course your HD audio and power buttons. Now with that being said this also offers the rotatable PCI Express bracket so this allows you to be able to rotate uh, the bracket for vertical GPU mounting using a proper riser cable for either your Gen 3 or Gen 4 graphic cards and then also being able to have that mounted on top of the power cover for extra stability and it being native to the case so you don't have to worry about any cables running through with a nice solid connection in the back. Now with this case as well on the other side because you do have options for a side mounted radiator we also have another panel which can replace the glass panel on the back side. Now this particular panel is going to replace the glass in the upper corner where normally you would have if you had a radiator mounted you would want proper airflow to go through there. So this panel comes in ideal for those configurations being able to give you the ventilated top section right where your radiator is going to be and of course it has a nice magnetic filter here on the inside. Now that we've talked a little bit more about the divider 500 series let's shrink it down and talk about the new divider 200 TG next. Now I have the divider 200 TG here in this series and this guy is coming in for a micro ATX form factor type of size. Of course you can see it's a lot smaller and more cube like similar to our level 20 VT chassis giving you some nice glass options with the triangulated split design here for the side panels and you have that here on this side as well as on the other side and then of course it's going to have a tempered glass panel across the top. Now this is very similar in cooling offering a 200 millimeter option fan in the front. You can do a 240 radiator in the front as well as a 240-280 radiator located over here 
on the side, ideal for putting your graphic card or your CPU cooling to be able to mount it onto the custom railing on the side. And then with that, you know, you also have a little bit of airflow in the side panel and then gapped out side panels on the top there so that way you can get some airflow in even with all of that particular glass. Now with this too, it's also the motherboard is going to be in a landscape type of form factor layout. So that means your graphics card is going to be going down uh, directly into the motherboard and it also is nice and convenient for taking the stress off with heavy graphic cards or the stress on your PCI Express slot for versus a traditional, you know, where the motherboard's uh, vertical in the case. Now the other things too, you got power supply mount here on the bottom with the case and then with that following all the series across you also have the two USB 3.0 ports located on the top with a type C as well as your HD audio and power buttons. I mean great little small micro ATX form factor case. The panels are removable as well but does not include any additional panels again that is only the 500 series at this moment to clarify and we hope you guys like some of the first looks and overviews here of our divider series. We also have some other ones, including a smaller one, the divider 100, that we also have in the works as well, and we hope to be able to show that to you soon. Now let's move forward to our new TT Premium PCIe 4.0 riser cables. Here at Thermaltake, we've been going vertical for years with our graphic card mounting options, and we have our new TT Premium PCI Express 4.0 Gen riser cable. Now these are our new riser cables to add on to our already current existing riser cables. This one coming in with PCI Express 4.0 compatibility. This allows 16 gigabits per second transfer rate and has excellent shielding and flexibility for your build. These are great for our iconic Core P3 builds going vertical with the graphic cards or any other system or mod that's looking to be able to go vertical or put your graphic card just in another location. These new riser cables are going to be available in 300 millimeter and 600 millimeter links supporting that PCI Express 4.0 compatibility. I'd also like to introduce our new 90 degree right angle riser cables which will be coming to market as well offering that same performance but giving you that nice 90 degree angle on the PCB board for a different orientation for your graphics cards. Now these new riser cables will be available soon and will be a nice add-on to our already current riser cable family. Now let's go ahead and move forward to Donnie and he'll be talking about our new cooling. Last year we introduced a tough fan series. Designed with liquid crystal polymer fan blades, metal reinforced hub, and a Gen 2 hydraulic bearing. At speeds of up to 2000 RPM, we're able to achieve high airflow, high static pressure, while maintaining quiet operation. This year, we're introducing the Tough Fan Turbo. With the same core components, we're able to squeeze out 500 more RPM. At 2500, we get a 45% increase in static pressure, making it the ideal choice for radiator applications. These fans will be available later Q1. And if you would like more information, head over to our website at thermaltechusa.com. To kick off our new series of CPU air coolers, we have the Tough Air 110, the Tough Air 310, and the Tough Air 510. Each cooler is designed with four direct contact copper heat pipes and an aluminum heatsink. The heatsink is redesigned to increase the surface area and lower air turbulence to better dissipate heat from the CPU. When it comes to size, the top-down Tough Air 110 stands at 114 millimeters tall, with a lower end clearance of 42.4 millimeters. And both the tower models, Tough Air 310 and 510, stand at 160 millimeters. Cooling capacities are rated at 140 watts, 170 watts, and 180 watts respectively. You can expect these coolers to be available at the end of Q1. If you're looking for a liquid cooling, we have three new AIOs to show you. First, we have the Tough Liquid ARGB Sink. It comes in 240, 280, and 360 millimeters. Its high efficiency radiator paired with the Tough Fan provides excellent cooling performance and quick heat dissipation. Now what's cool about this AIO is that the LED cap can be rotated 360 degrees, making sure that the logo is in the upright position regardless of how you mount it. For color customization, the six adjustable LEDs can be synchronized with motherboards that have five volt RGB headers. If analog's more your style, the water block has an integrated LED controller which can control the lighting modes, 
lighting color, and lighting speeds. Next is the Tough Liquid Ultra, available in 240 and 360 millimeters. This AIO is equipped with the Tough Fan 12 Turbo and flaunts a 2.1 inch TFT LCD. This monitor displays real-time system information, such as the CPU's frequency, temperature, and performance. You can also upload your own JPEG or GIF files, adding another layer of customization to your PC. This is made possible with the upcoming TTRGB Plus 2.0 software. And finally, our CPU and memory all-in-one cooler, the Flow RC, gets an upgrade, the Flow RC Ultra. This AIO is also paired with the Tough Fan 12 Turbo and only available in 240 and 360 millimeters. Like the original Flow RC, the compatible memory Tough Ram RC is sold separately. So in addition to the 2.1 inch CPU water block display, the memory water block now has a 3.9 inch LCD monitor. It can independently display system information or personal image files, expanding more possibilities and customization. I'm excited to see what the community can do with these features. More information on these AIOs and TTRGB Plus 2.0 will be coming soon. Now let's hand it off to Tony for some Pacific DIY and LCGS. Hey, thanks, Donnie. So you guys got a chance to go ahead and look at some AIOs. Pretty cool seeing some of the new stuff that's coming out. But what if you want to go a little bit further? Hmm? Thermaltake's always been great with water cooling, and this year is no exception. We have four brand new blocks set out, and these are actually geared towards the ASUS Strix line. So let's go ahead and go through. Uh, we have the bottom two blocks, both of these guys here are set out for the 3070 cards with the top two right here set out for the 3080 and 3090 series. This is a great next step for someone who just wants that extra bit of performance, doesn't have to worry about throttling, temperatures or anything like that and wants that amazing aesthetic from a fully water cooled PC. Now, why four blocks? You know, if we're covering 3070, 3080, 3090, why two different sets? I would love to explain that. And to start off with, we have our standard Pacific Series blocks. These guys have all the greatness that you know and love. They're geared towards amazing aesthetics and also excellent cooling performance. We do have a half a millimeter a water channel set there that sits on top of the die for excellent heat dispersion as well as memory cooling for all the new different memory layouts on these cards. Now, this is a pretty standard water block. Don't get me wrong, it looks amazing, but I actually have something really cool to show you guys, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have a brand new Pacific SE line. Now, what's so special about this, you're probably asking. We've taken a lot of feedback from water cooling enthusiasts. Uh, it's a big part of our industry, and it's something that we love doing. One thing that we heard a lot was, hey, you know, when I'm doing my GPU to CPU loops, it's a little difficult. You know, a lot of the times the fittings, they'll be offset by about a half an inch or so which makes it very awkward to run a line very cleanly. So what we did here is we took that feedback into account. And let's go ahead and take this guy off. And we engineered out a full new uh, top channel for the block. What's cool about this is you can actually use tools to go ahead and rotate these inlets. They're a little stiff, so you will need a tool. And that's good, so that way it doesn't spin around. But essentially what this will do is allow you to change where the actual port on the cards for the in and out are. That way it should ideally make it a little bit easier for when you're running lines to like the CPU or maybe somewhere else where possibly they don't line up. It's, I've done water cooling for a pretty good bit and I will say, you know, it is a little frustrating when you have one port right here and then the other port on the other component is about that far away. It makes it for a very awkward bend. Whereas if I could just take this channel, slide it over, it can make that work a lot, lot easier for just a cleaner overall looking build. Now, that's not the only thing for this block. We did also include our full RGB suite for this guy. So it does work off of ARGB or it'll work through TTRGB Plus and some of the other apps that we have for LED control. I'm very excited about this block. It has a really nice clean look and it should make water cooling a whole lot easier. But hey, so maybe you guys don't wanna do water cooling. Maybe it seems like a bit much. We got something for you guys there too. Give me a sec. All right, and we're back here with our LCGS PCs. These guys I'm really excited about. We have a few new SKUs to show off for you guys, but hey, it's too much goodness just to show it all off at once. So let's take a look at these one by one. So first up, we have our Shadow 360i. 
The Shadow Series has always been one of my favorites. The P3 case itself is just amazing. I love that these guys can stand up vertically, you can lay them down flat horizontally, or hey, it's got a full vase mount, go ahead and throw it on the wall. Tons and tons of options for you. These are some of the best cases, they grow with you, they're amazing. Now the build itself is no slouch. It's powered by a Ryzen 3000 series processor. We got a 3060 Ti graphics card as well, just to keep you all updated with some nice ray tracing and stuff. We have our Thermaltake Tough RAM, I believe it's 16 gigs of that, and a 360 millimeter cooler, just to keep it all cool. Following that, you get to look at it through some nice tempered glass. Like I said, these are just some of my favorite builds. They function so well. I mean, if you ever want to upgrade this thing going down the line, they're perfectly set up for that. But with that being said, the build's pretty good to start out with. I mean, it's definitely gonna have you covered for a pretty good bit into the foreseeable future. But hey, this isn't all we got to look at. Let's go to the next one. All right, so up next we have our AH370. Now, I love this guy. There's some really cool things that we managed to keep in here from our AH380 build. Some of those that you'll see are the ultra-fast M.2, our awesome B550 chipset that we run, but some of the things that we swapped out is this guy is now running a 3700X with a 3070 as well, just to get you all that performance that you'll need. Now, the other real awesome benefit I like about this case is the footprint. You know, what if you have a desk, it's just too small to fit a full tower or a mid tower and you definitely don't want to put your build on the floor. That's where this guy comes in. It has an awesome little footprint to it. It's much smaller than a mid tower case and it'll look amazing on the desk. It has a very unique design. It's kind of like an open frame concept. Somewhat, it's still kind of closed off, but you're kind of getting best of the both worlds there. I really like that about this case, but you know, not to go too far into it, but I actually have something pretty cool that's very similar to this. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and move on to that. Okay, guys, so now this one's my favorite. This is the AH370S. To begin with, one of the first things I really like about this case is, you know, majority of cases and pre-built PCs out there, they're all in black, you know, and it's, that's not a problem. I like black case myself, but sometimes you want something a little bit different. And here at Thermaltake, we've actually done a very, very good job at like expanding our lineup to include Snow Edition cases as well. So, black's a little too dull for you. Go with the Snow Edition, AH370. I love how everything's just dressed up in all the white. I mean, we threw on a white 240 millimeter AIO as well. It's part of our new TH lineup. This is also sporting the amazing 3070 gigabyte vision card, as well as all the rest of the chipset features that we generally have in our A8 series. So this guy's also running a 3700X, B550 motherboard, as well as an M.2 for those ultra fast speeds, and 16 gigs of tough RAM as well. Overall, I love how the build comes together. I love the offset of the black and the white. I feel like it's just something very different from what you're used to seeing with just a regular black box case. So all the amazing benefits that the AH370 had, this guy has it too, but with the looks to go above. So thanks again for joining us guys. Up next is Gabe to show you some really cool peripherals. So make sure you stay tuned to check those out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This year, Thermaltake is presenting our new Argent series, featuring a full range of peripherals, from mouse and keyboard to headsets and mouse pads. Thermaltake's Argent series is ready to deliver for your gaming experience. The Argent K5 is our new keyboard with a slew of amazing features. With a premium aluminum faceplate, floating keycaps, as well as an asymmetrical curvature design, it's definitely a great fit for any battle station. Equipped with either Cherry MX Blues for tactile feedback or Cherry MX Speed Silvers with low actuation points, combine that with N-key rollover, it guarantees a great gaming experience. The Argent K5 comes with a detachable wrist rest, perfect for those long gaming sessions. The Argent K5 also has multimedia keys, as well as a volume wheel and a mute button. Everything you'd want in a gaming session right at your fingertips. Aside from great performance, the Argent K5 also delivers with great aesthetics. With our signature RGB underglow, customizable to your every need and every want. Any battle station you have, any design, you can definitely use it. Thermaltake's Argent M5 wired and wireless mouse features an ambidextrous design with buttons on both left and right side. It's perfect for the right-handed user as well as the left-handed user. It's also a good fit for any battle station design or theme considering that it has our signature RGB underglow design. 
It also has the highly regarded Omron switch rated 50 million clicks per life cycle, guaranteeing its longevity. The Argent M5 wireless also comes with Pixart's PMW3335 optical sensor, delivering the best performance with optimal power usage. The wireless version of this mouse also comes with multiple connectivity options, with 2.4 GHz for best performance, Bluetooth 5.0 for low energy consumption, and wired connectivity for freedom of use. Supplementing your gaming experience would be the Argent MP1. With an aluminum hard surface, perfect for tracking. It'll be a perfect pair for your Argent M5. It features our signature RGB underglow to complete the aesthetic for the Argent series. For those utilizing a wired mouse, the Argent MB1 is the perfect companion. We all know the pain of having your cable snag or tangle. With its unique teardrop design and rubber non-slip base, it makes for a smoother gaming experience. Now we all know that a good gaming experience has to be complemented with great audio. Thermaltake's Argent H5 headphones delivers with high-res drivers. 50mm drivers for the wired edition and 40mm drivers for the wireless editions. Both versions carry the DTS Headphone X 2.0 surround sound technology, which allows for less alteration for the sound and allows for a more immersive gaming experience. It allows you to hear your games as the developer intended to be. Both the H5 models carry our signature 16.8 million RGB lighting system, so you can customize it however you want. Argent H5 wires features an inline control for sound control at your fingertips. With the game chat balance, volume control, and mute button, it allows for a fully customizable experience right at your fingertips. The Argent H5 wireless comes with 2.4 GHz connectivity. It allows for 18 hours of usage without the RGB on, and 12 hours of usage with the default lighting on. Alternatively, you can plug it in using the 3.5 mm jack for full usage without using battery. You can connect it to your PC, console, or mobile device. Now the last product that we're going to be presenting is the Thermaltake W1 Wireless Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It features full-on PBT keycaps that feels amazing to your hand. It is fade resistant and extremely durable. The W1 also comes in both Cherry MX Blue, which is very clicky, audible, and tactile. But at the same time, it comes in Cherry MX Reds, which are more quiet and linear. The Thermaltake W1 comes with multimedia keys available at your fingertips. It features a mute button, a game mode, and a scrollable volume wheel. The Thermaltake W1 wireless keyboard features a 10 key rollover using a 2.4 GHz connection, as well as a 6 key rollover using a Bluetooth 5.0 connection. The Thermaltake W1 also comes with full on N key rollover with the wired connection. The battery power for the Thermaltake W1 comes at 1.5 months for the 2.4 GHz connection. But when using the low energy Bluetooth 5.0, it extends up to 2.5 months.
Next up here for the 2021 TT Expo, I'm proud to show our new Tough Ram XG RGB DDR4 memory. Now the new XG RGB memory is going to be available in 3600, 4000, 44 and 4800 megahertz speeds. These are going to be coming in a 16 gigabit kit so you'll get two 8 gig modules out of the box and it has a new unique X cross heat sink design here by Thermaltake. Now this allows us to be able to do some unique things on the RGB lighting as well. This gives us multiple zones with the new unique X cross pattern and we've also upgraded the LEDs to 16 for that and we have our new Tough Ram software updated to be able to support the new LED count and of course be able to sync that with our TT RGB software, all of the motherboard synchronization support as well as Amazon Alexa and more. Razor Chroma, we're getting it all synced up just like everything else so it'll be perfect part of our new RGB family and adding on here with the Tough Ram XG. Now with this it's going to be a 10 layer PCB on it. These are Hynix d die modules. All the specifications for wattage and timings and everything will be given out that information and it'll be on our website so you guys can go ahead and check out all the specifications will have four, four different sets of speeds that we'll be offering with those as well as price and availability will be, av will be around Q1 of this year towards the end. And that will be our, for our new Tough Ram XG memory. And uh, for that, we'll go ahead and we'll continue on with more here at the TT Expo. This year, to better accommodate the current market releases of high-end, power-hungry graphics cards and CPUs, we're adding new models with greater outputs to our already successful Tough Power series. For starters, we're looking at the Tough Power GF1 1000 watt and 1200 watt, certified at 80 plus gold. The current GF1 series are comprised of high-loading 12-volt single rail design with genuine Japanese capacitors. By implementing such top-quality parts, we're able to deliver efficient output with low voltage ripple at less than 30 millivolts, providing stable current to your high-performance components on the receiving end. The Tough Power series also has a unique chassis design with steel mesh all around. Combine that with a 140 millimeter fan it ensures maximum heat dissipation. Together with that, it utilizes a smart zero fan mode to guarantee near quiet performance. Of course, being the Tough Power GF1 series, the power supply itself is fully modular to simplify cable management, as well as to prevent clustering and to improve airflow in the case. The MSRP of the Tough Power GF1 1000 watt will run you $199.99 US dollars, while the 1200 watt will run $239.99 US dollars. Both of these are expected to be released Q2. Based on the same platform with the GF1, the TF1 1550 watt is rated at 80 plus titanium and can reach up to 96% efficiency. You pretty much get all that you'd want in a high-end power supply. The TF1 will provide support to even the most demanding of setups without compromise. On the other hand, the TF1 as well as GF1 provides industry standard protections as well as a 10-year warranty, together with that great power output it provides. The TF1-1550's MSRP is $429.99 US dollars. Currently, it's a bargain compared to other power supplies in the same category. The TF1-1550 is expected to be released in Q2. And lastly, we are re-releasing our Tough Power SFX series. There are some improvements from the previous iterations. First off, there's a 50 watt increase across all models. Now they're rated at 450 watt, 550 watt, and 650 watt. Second, there's also an improvement into the DC to DC protections. Third, there's an increase in the size of the fan for better heat dissipation. It went from 80 millimeter fan to a 90 millimeter fan. And finally, it retains its seven year warranty from the previous iteration. Check it out it might be just for you, as these are meant for slim or micro ATX builds. Thank you for tuning in to TT Expo 2021. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at our new products coming up soon. If you missed anything, or you just want more information, feel free to click on the link below. Remember, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.